Wednesday. I'm Thursday. I'm Friday. Yay! Yay! Thank you, J.K. Rowling, for bestowing in me a love of fantasy that will last a lifetime, for creating a world that has led to amazing friendships, real and fictional, and thank you for creating a world that has given me self-confidence and taught me the true meaning of magic. I went to my first Wizard Rock show with Catherine, and it was only about a year and a half ago, even though it seems like it was a lot longer than that. We saw The Whomping Willows, Justin Fitch Fluffly, and The Remus Lupins, and Midnight Magic came up and played one song. It was a really fun show, even though it was a lot more awkward than I am now, but it does hold a special kind of a memory for me. The first show, basically the first concert I ever went to as well. When Deathly Hallows came out, I was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I wasn't as involved in the community. So I didn't know about Wizard Rock and I didn't know about some other things like that. But I was at camp when it came out. I was at a summer camp that I'd gone to every year for about seven years and I loved the camp, but I was so upset that I was stuck there when Deathly Hallows came out. So upset. And my mom and sister had gone to get it at midnight, and when I stepped off the bus, my mom was standing there with a big smile on her face, holding Deathly Hallows for me. And instead of saying hi or anything, I just grabbed him from her, sat down, and started reading. And um, we drove home, and she's like, hi, Rachel, how was camp? I said, shut up, I'm reading. And I read till about two, I got home at like, I got home at like five, and I read till about two in the morning, slept for a couple hours, woke back up, and finished off just about the battle scene towards the end. And it was an unbelievable experience full of so many emotions, but I was happy to have the book. I didn't get this book when it came out. I got it shortly after the first Wizard Rock concert as a Hanukkah gift. And as I read it, that's what first hit me that all of the things I was missing in the fandom, all of the key bits that I didn't know, they were all in that book. And it made me so happy that I could go back and pretend I was part of that moment or know a cute little side joke about something, a couple, a couple terms were explained to me, and the book just made me so nostalgic and bittersweet and such a well-written, intelligent, brilliant book. I saw Deathly Hallows with a whole group of friends in costume, even though it was a school night we went and saw it at midnight, and I thought it was amazing. I'm sure I could find a thousand things wrong with it, but it was too emotionally draining for me to even concentrate on what was wrong with it or the small details that could have been changed. And my favorite part of it was that the next day I did go to school on about two hours of sleep. It was minimum day, so it wasn't that stressful of a day, but we ran into my history teacher's cap and I walked in the gate. And he looked at us and said, what happened, girls? And he looked at him and said, Harry Potter. A story for Kathleen. The masochistic pig chortled as he answered his flamboyant exponential math problem. A short story by Rachel Perry. The person who has been is going to tell us about their favorite childhood toy. Oh, it's not you, Kathleen. That would have been funny. Aww. Grace, today is awesome because I left the house at 8 in the morning, paraded children around till 4, and then spent like 6 hours at Kathleen's rehearsal studio. Today's awesome because I can do this. <laughs> Why does everyone do that to me? Hannah did it. And like, like, oh. No, it doesn't work. I have to get. <laughs> no, put your head down here. <laughs> I think I should make a bloopers video just of this. This is really difficult. It's so hard. Ow, it's so hard. <laughs> P.S. I have a bone to pick with you guys. No one commented on my video last week. And I really don't have thousands of subscribers. But if the other four girls don't comment on my video, then I feel a little bit sad. It's because nobody likes you. Now you know. <laughs>